Hello, and welcome back to the channel. It's Echo Stretch. In this video, we're going to go ahead and check out Carl's host on the ESP8266. He went ahead and updated the four hosts that he has. Uh, he has the 900 Gold, the 900L, 900N, and the one we're going to be using is 900NA. So they are updated with the latest Gold 10, which is 2.1.2. But yeah, let's go ahead and jump right into the video here. I've already went ahead and flashed my board with the latest uh, bin file. But yeah, we'll go ahead and get logged in. And once we are logged in, we'll jump over to our settings. Now you can see I don't have the Gold 10 options, and if I do scroll down, I don't have a debug settings. We jump up to network. I've already went ahead and connected to the the board. Um, so if you're not connected, you can go ahead and just set up your internet connection like you would do any other way uh, using Wi-Fi. Select Carl's host, and the password is just one two three four five six seven eight. Um, but yeah, once you are connected, just go ahead and back out of there. Go ahead and launch our browser now. Do the usual. Close the first window. Go ahead and delete all that are frequently used pages. Go into our browser history, clear that as well. And then finally we'll go into our settings and delete cookies and clear our website data. Then we'll go ahead and back out completely. There's two ways you can go about. You can go ahead and use the user guide if you want, or you can go ahead and stick with the browser. I usually just stick with the browser. It works just as good. Um, so we'll go ahead and launch it, and it will automatically redirect us. Um, we'll just wait for the message to pop up on support, or sorry, insert USB. Go ahead and insert that USB, and when we do see the message on supported file system, we we'll go ahead and hit OK. So there's our message there. Go ahead and hit OK, and the jailbreak is done. So we can go ahead and remove the USB and hit OK, and we'll give it a few moments here to install the cache. It doesn't take long at all, as you can see. It's it's going pretty quick there. 75% there already. Okay, there's 100%. Okay, so now the cache is installed. For the video, I'm just going to go ahead and hit our PlayStation button and jump over to settings and go to network and just disconnect from the internet just to show you that uh, everything still works without being connected. So we'll go ahead and hit browser. Give it a few moments here just to load the jailbreak again. It requires that each time you go ahead and launch the browser, but once you do get in, go ahead and launch all the payloads you want. Um, so we'll go ahead and launch Gold 10 2.1.2, which is the latest version. As you can see, it does pop up fairly quick. Um, we can go ahead and launch another payload as well. My FTP is going to be failed because I don't have the internet enabled. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and launch Orbis's toolbox as well. As you can see, they load fairly quick, straight up. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and just... Hit our PlayStation button. We'll jump out of there for a minute. We'll go over to settings and we'll go into our network and go ahead and enable our network. And then we'll jump up to our Goal 10 options and just enable our FTP server. Um, it may take a little bit just to get connected. Give it a few seconds and then go ahead and give it a check. And it should come up with no issues. Um, we can go ahead and jump into About and go About Goal 10. It does list the features. Um, I don't think anything has changed, but if we go down to the bottom here, we can see the change log. And for 2.1.2, you can see that it fixed config Fraser. Um, the 2.1.1 fixed multiple injections, and then 2.1. And you can keep on going on to see what uh, what has been changed over the past. Let's go ahead and back out of there now. And we'll go ahead and launch our browser again. Now that we have the internet enabled, let's go ahead and launch that FTP payload. Okay, and once it does come up, we can go straight over to FTP. Go ahead and just launch that. And as you can see, running FTP server comes up, no issues. Should get the IP and the port as well. But yeah, guys, that's basically it for the video. I will leave a link in the description. You can go ahead and download whichever version of uh, Carl's host you want for the 8266. But yeah, if you did like the video, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It really helps out the channel. We're almost up to 3,000 now. Really appreciate everybody that did subscribe. But I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.